Who's this? Oh, hey. Anyone? Anyone on that? <gasps> Fragbone. Oh, this is a little bit close. <laughs> oh, man, I just noticed that at the last second. <sighs> Anything else? I don't think so. Oh, man, another explosion. Whew. Stim pack time. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, next time we see a Fragbone, it's like right there. On vats or off vats. Let's not shoot it, okay? I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty. Oh, whoa, whoa! Something's gonna explode. That car down there. Oh, casual nuke, casual nuke. <gasps> Alright, let's get some of the juicy uh, ammo right there. Dead body, dead body. I see these dead bodies. Oh, what is that? Decent stuff. Got a sniper rifle right there. Hmm. I like rarely ever use sniper rifles, but I'll take it. If anything, I can get some money out of it. What's over here? It's a fish packing area. Seems like it's a whole, whole big boatload of nothing. Oh, ew. This guy has no legs. What a loser. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, nothing over here. Just some coffee cups. It's going to give us a little bit of... Oh, Jet and Psycho. Not bad. going to give us a little bit of ceramics from those, but meh. Uh, 38 rounds. What's this terminal for? What I wouldn't give for a... I don't know what you just said there, guys. Worth fumes. What's happening? I don't know. What's happening? Everyone hears the sirens outside, right? Can someone please tell us what's going on? No one will let us out. They said to lock up and wait until uh, we hear back from them. And that was 30 minutes ago. Also, Dave, if you're coming up anytime soon, could you <laughs> could you be a deer and bring us a nuka cola? Seems George has had the last one up here. Got George always eating the <laughs> drinking the last nuka cola when the world's literally ending. Come on, George. At least let other people have a little bit of a sip of that juicy. Nuka Cola. Man, my mouth is just watering at the thought of it. Oh, there's a Nuka Cola right there. What are you talking about? George didn't drink the last one. He was lying. <laughs> plastic spoon over there. Nothing, nothing. Telephone. I don't know if that. Uh, I'll take it. It's probably going, going to give me plastic. Uh, what else is around here? Dirty ashtray. Pre war money. Hmm. Shotgun shell. Duct tape. Technical document. Let me give that to that dead guy that's on the Prudwin. <laughs> oh, man. I was such- I, I, I am just a relentless savage these days, you know? Like I said like two or three episodes ago, this is a new generation, a new Ow. chapter of- <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Cowsworth is getting injured by something over here. What are you getting in, injured by? We're, we're, we're new generation savages now, Cowsworth. We can't just get injured by petty gravity. Like, what even is gravity? Nothing, that's what it is. Oop. Oh, grenade! Oh, shut the door. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man, I saw that at the last second. I saw that at the last second. Ah, probably could have had a free grenade right there, but whatever. Ooh. Is that... What is that? I don't know what that is. That must be a part of the trap. <laughs> okay, I can't see anything else over here. My headlamp is literally broken, so... There's probably, like, a million juicy loots over here. And I can't even see a single thing. Yeah, no, oh, whoa. Yeah, there's nothing inside there. Huh. Okay, well... This place is pretty much useless. Why don't- Why even have an area over here? If there's a big boatload of nothing, especially how far away from everything else it is. <gasps> Ooh, Nuka Cola Quan- Oh! <laughs> there's just traps all over the place. Nuka Cola Quantum, the- Oh man, there must be even more traps, because that's maybe how these raiders died. Ooh. Elevator there. Ooh, can, I'll take that. Another can. Anything- Oh. Enough to hear the old gears spinning the yeah. Way. Disarm that. I'll take that that uh, that mine. I think that's it, right? I'll oh, take that tray, surgical tray or something. Go and give me a little bit of metals. Oh, look at that torso right there. <laughs> Decent stuff. Not bad. Is that it? I know there's a couple more buildings. I guess I guess we can go check those other buildings real quick. See if they have any loot that might be left behind. Cause we don't want to leave behind any loot. That's just that's just disrespectful to loot. Don't want to. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, he's all bent over like that. Let's see, oh, a little bit of loot. Gotta unlock that though, haven't unlocked anything in a little while. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh, go up a little bit, there we go, nice. Get all that stuff, there you go, 38 rounds. What is this terminal for, huh? Uh, import, okay, yeah, it's trash. I don't know why they leave terminals like, like that open. I guess if anyone wants to read about what happened here or something, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, let's see, coolant right there, trash. There's another building over here, yeah. One of these, I can't pick those up. A uh, cigar box. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> the guy has a little bump on his head. Oh, I gotta unlock this toolbox. Oh, left side. Oh, wow, first side. Sweet. Their first try. <laughs> of course, I, I better get on the first try. I, I can pick master locks now. I better not get trumped or sure stumped by a novice lock. What are you talking about, Godsworth? I'm going down now. 
There we go. Alright, let's get prepared for anything that might want to end our lives and try and end their lives in, uh, before they can end ours. Oh wow, this guy literally has no head. <laughs> let's pick up that, that stuff there. Is there a, there's a fish on the ground? Nasty. Disgusting. There's his head right there. Hey, pick up that head. God, don't get- Ah! Getting out of the power armor. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Ah, uh, whatever. Kind of want to take his head and just kind of replace it with that fish head that's cut off, but whatever. <laughs> oh, that would have been hilarious. Okay, what else is around here? A bunch of fish. I can't pick up the fish, though. That's unfortunate. Unfish in it. <laughs> wow, I'm just gonna stop. Chained on the other side. Hmm, chained on the other side. I need to get to the other side of that chain thing. <laughs> if I want to see what's over there. Obviously, right? Either way, man, I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going crazy. That's what I'm sorry. Uh, what is this? Win it a south. Okay. Uh, first aid. Oh, what? This is against OSHA. Okay, uh, having a lock on the first aid. What if someone had their head cut off or something? They need God. those bandages to keep them alive, okay? That is not cool. Let's take that vase. Might as well pen. I'll take that. Might as well dirty water. Nothing else around here. Hmm. It's like really dumb. Oh. Who are you? Synth Patrol. Whoa. Nasty things creeping up. Proceed. All systems nominal. These are weird looking synths. That guy has the same mask as me. Capacity. I wonder if we went with the Brotherhood and we came down here if they'd uh if they'd be like all hostile and whatnot. Well let's see what's down here. Why are there why are there synths? Huh. Wow. Dead raiders. Who are Scanning. you? Subject identified. Who am I? Am I Oh Okay, just walk away. Nick Valentine look alike. Nick Valentine wannabe. That's what you are. <laughs> okay, let's go down here. Let's check. Because I saw a dead body. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll light this area on fire once we're done with it. <laughs> what else is around here? Just more blood. More technical documents. Oh, wow, that guy's foot fell off whenever... His leg fell off whenever he fell down here. What a dumb. All right, light that area on fire. There you go. <laughs> oh, it came all the way over here. That's not good. <laughs> uh. Looks like the synths are just straight leaving. Ooh, I, there's a lot of trees. I'll take all those. Wow. Good stuff. This is going to get us what? Aluminum or something? What is that going to get us? Because we're getting an absolute ton of them. What does a tree get us? Aluminum. Yeah, perfect. That's good. We need that. Ammo box? <laughs> it's locked though. <laughs> Why is there an ammo box on like a... A little... Cut? 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 <laughs> what side is this on? Left, right side, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. That's it. Eh, I'll take it. But yeah, look at this absolute ton of aluminum. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about aluminum for a little while. There we go. Definitely need aluminum because we use it to repair our power armor, primarily, and we can also use it because I think we're short on aluminum to get that military paint on our power armor. Right? Isn't that the thing that we're missing? I think so. Hmm. Either way. I think we're done here, right, guys? Is this the other side of that chained, uh, chain door? Yeah, how's it going? How you doing? Either way, I'm going to get the rest of these, these trays. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ooh, man, there's so many. Look at this. There's so many trays that I'm over encumbered. Man, this is insane. Get over here, guys. Ruth, I need you to hold some trash. I need you to hold some trash. <laughs> god, these puns are just the worst in the universe. Okay, well, <laughs> you can hold, uh, we're up to 355 pounds. Let's see how many trays we're holding. Uh, oh, that's aid. Uh, let's go down to, um, no, that's miscellaneous junk. There you go, tray. 83 trays at one pound per tray. <laughs> Man. Are you kidding? Wow, Cosworth can't even hold any more trays. Insane. That's like the first time that's ever happened. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, we might have to drop off some of this trash before we go on this Far Harbor stuff. But let's, let's keep investigating this area. Are we on the other side? Oh yeah, how's it going? How you guys doing? Uh, 38 round. I, I can see that guy's head over there. Blade knuckles. Hmm, I'll take that. Sounds like it's a pretty good uh, melee weapon for us to start using on whenever, if ever, we even do that melee I keep talking about. Alright. Oh, uh, oh, there you go. We have two nice. uh, two weapons that are actually pretty decent for melee. Like, I have a hockey. What, what do we have? What is this? I just did a stim pack accidentally. Here's the Cosworth thing. And this is the... Oh. Is this the electrified uh, thing? I don't know. Huh. Either way, nothing in that... De Ooh, what does this terminal do? Anything special here? Ooh, I've got to hack it. 
frame, no nests, no begin, one, uh, begin, 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 I don't know, winds, I don't think so, erupt, fries, I, I don't know. Yes, let's try, let's try fries. Got, got locked out. <laughs> okay, nothing there. Well, at least not anymore. Razgrain. Decent stuff. Not bad. There's that dead body. What are these since though? Unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. <laughs> Unknown identity, but I get clearance confirmed. Okay, that makes sense, right? Water thing down there. Any more trays over here? Because I could, whew, I could definitely use some more trays, I'll tell you that much. Quite the stock they have here. I'd be certain there's a market for 200 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a market for 200 year old trays, I'll tell you that much. Oof, I'll be taking them without a doubt. Sir, what is that not? I imagine this place is giving me old nostrils quite the wake up call. Yeah, I can barely hear you though, Casbreth. You know someone's foot over here fell off. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Let's get all this ammo here. There's just dead fish over there. Surely you meant to leave that rubbish where you found it. Nah, I'll take it. Knuckles there. If anything, I could sell that trash. Ooh, a magazine. Tesla Science. Ooh, look at that thing. You've collected a blobbity bloop. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus five critical damage. Nice. Bobby pin box with three whole bobby pins on it. Whew, watch out, everyone. Mr. Bobby pin over here. You can call me Bobby. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Why don't I even make YouTube videos, right? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, let's keep going. What else is around here? Is this the end of the th oh wait, there's a terminal here. What is this for? Secret area. Uh, thermostat and nu what? Nuka? Jane, sorry, won't be able to make it up with your Nuka. They've shut down the main lift, so it seems we'll be stuck down here for a while. If you hear anything else about what's going on outside, let me know. I felt some rumbling and shaking a little while ago. A couple of shipments fell off the shelves, but nothing we can't take care of. Anyway, take care, and again, let me know if you hear anything. A lot of concerned, uh, a lot of concerned people down here. Dave. Ooh. Jane was thirsting for a Nuka Cola and emailed someone literally on the other side of the plant for a Nuka Cola. Man, this stuff must be juicy as heck if people are literally emailing. Yeah, they are. Actually, now that I think about it, I might be 200 years out of date for my tetanus shots. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys doing up here? You guys must be defending something. Ooh, I don't know what's up here. I'll take all that, though. <laughs> uh, protectron. Prote oh, I thought that said Protectron. Protection matters. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? I wonder if I can kill you and get your armor. Might be pretty decent. Radio there. Don't want to play that trash. Don't want to get a copyright strike. Is that it, though? Is that the end of the... Oh, yeah. And that's the other end of the... Okay, well, that's weird. This place is strange altogether. Okay, let's go back up then. I'll see you on the other side, Gunsworth. I'm going up without you. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well... Now we can just straight leave. My senses are picking up quite the smell. Yeah, 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 whatever. I can't imagine it must be pleasant for you, sir. Yeah, it smells like trash, but I try and ignore it. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Skiddily Don Daddle and whatnot. Because, uh, I don't know. This place was decent. Had some decent loot inside of it. Actually, you know what? If if we're talking about loot, whew, it had some pretty good loot. 83 or so trays? Man, I don't think we'll ever get loot like that anywhere else. I think that loot is just so good that we need to go back to Sanctuary Hills, drop it off, and, oh wow, oh whoa, Far Harbor, whoa. Oh, it's all the way, oh man, we're, we're decently close, I think. I don't know, I guess we have to keep going past that border there. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Either way, let's go back to Sanctuary Hills, drop off all this extra trash -roo, and then just fast travel back and do this Far Harbor mission. Alright guys, I am back, and we are here at that, that house that had the Meyer Lurks and that one raider that was dead. <laughs> of course, we, we caused her to, to, you know, die. <laughs> it was our fault, but uh, there's that, uh, that factory over there as well, but uh, I think this road is the road we're going to need to take to just go north and go beyond the border. And that will take us to this Far Harbor thing, which is a pretty Far Harbor, if you're going to ask me. Jeez, man, these buns are worse and worse as time goes on. <laughs> Anyways, ooh, is that a milk puddle? Ew. Kind of, ooh. 
bunch of dogs over there. Huh, I do have my flamer. Oh wait, that's not it. So, oh, yep, here we go, here's my flamer. I kinda wanna use it. Where are those dogs at? Oh, look, there's a Cosworth up there on that, on that billboard. Ooh, are these raiders? Settlers? Who are you? Farmer? Huh, okay, well, I don't think I wanna use this flamer thing then. Get rid of the dogs, kill the dogs, there you go. Kill, kill, end life. Get him, Cosworth, get him, alpha feral mongrel. Kill him. There, there we go, got him. Uh, ooh, I got him. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that dog got a spatula. A bottle cap, dog meat, not bad. A literal dog meat. <laughs> How many, uh, oh wow, I just picked up a legendary thing. Oh well, who else is here? Raiders. Oh, there's a, there's a raider in the water. Get him in the head. Stop missing. Why am I missing literally every shot? There you go. I was just getting warmed up. Yeah, me too. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Hey, you saved our lives. I th thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Even though I'm pretty sure some of you guys did die, but meh. Less than uh oh I was a raider right there. Huh. How many uh, how many of you guys are farmers then? Oh there's a raider right there as well. Huh. How many raiders are, are uh how many uh, raiders are there? Or how many farmers are there? Jeez. <laughs> I can't even speak English anymore. I don't know why. Either way, uh, who are you? Is that another raider? Farmer, almost dead. Get out of that water before you die. Thanks, stranger. That's more than most would have done. Nah, yeah, well, give me money. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> like, I deserve it. Alright, well, I think we, uh, we need to keep heading this way. Might as well use this, like, bridge to kind of uh, help ourselves up a bit. Uh, there you go. Uh, well, there you go. Noise, noise, noise. Keep going this way. Whew, there you go. Alright. Let's look at the minimap. Yeah. Keep on heading this way, and I think this is good. Alright. Well, how far do we want to go? Pardon the puns, <laughs> but uh, here's that uh, here's that highway right there. I don't know, I'm not seeing a house, no nothing. Huh, there's a river there. I don't know if we have to go across that river or what. Looking at the minimap. Nope, nope, looks like it's just like right here. Huh. It's a lot closer than I thought. Uh, nothing, nothing. Maybe it's like a secret thing under here, no? Wait, maybe. Here's a harbor right here. A harbor. I don't know if this is the harbor that we need to be at necessarily. Yeah, it seems like it. I don't know, it might be like, uh... Like whenever we went uh, south. Or it's like just beyond the ooh. Or it's like just beyond the border or something. What is out of here, feral ghouls? Feral, you like ghoul trash! Get out of here, ghoul trash! Nasty things! Disgusting, vomit inducing. Actually, you know what? Flamer time. Flamer time. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Look at that. Burning you trash. Burning this trash. There you go. Got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man. Is there anything else around here? Uh, what's that? A tree stump. Huh. Okay, well, <laughs> that actually did some pretty good damage. Killed him almost instantly. Nice. Alright, let's keep going this way. Ooh, who's that? Is that. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's not a person. That's like random, like, floaty things over here. Okay. Well. Oh, is that it over there? That f that f thing? Let's check the minimap. I don't know. We're still, like, right outside the thing. <laughs> so that's probably it. If anything, that's probably it. Maybe. It's the only thing. Uh, Or all the way over there. Is there any more ghouls around here or something? Or is that Cosworth killing someone? Oh, wait, there's Cosworth right there. This has got to be it. Not necessarily this building, but over there. That's got to be it. Come on. Pack of cigarettes inside there. Meh, trash. Oh, look at this dead body. Get those crispy squirrel bits. I doubt they're as crisp crispy as they were in the past. Nothing, nothing over here. Nothing. Yep, big boatload of. That's right. Nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. This definitely looks like it. If this isn't it, then I don't know what. I don't know where to go because the the, the mini map is like literally not moving. We're literally outside of the map right now. So <laughs> I don't know what to expect. Yeah, this has got to be it. Come on. Damn it! Come in. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. Knock, knock. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> Let's do a sarcastic right off the bat. Sorry. I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Come to think of it. That explains a lot. A good Samaritan? 
Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. My daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Uh, ask for my... <laughs> you know, may maybe your daughter became the mechanist. Who knows? Uh, not my problem. Pfft, I could be a complete and utter savage. Let's try and ask for money, yeah. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. I am not going to barter over my daughter's life. Your fee is going to be 300 caps. Take it or leave it. Uh, you know what? Uh, 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 300 caps, you know, for this whole entire DLC, you know, it's kind of a, kind of like a, kind of like a, kind of like a, can I like use this flamer already? Come on, this joke is already like old. There you go. They're on fire now. You guys this are on. isn't my problem. I have better places to be. Fine. Leave then. <laughs> <laughs> savagery, just savagery is out. It's just through, it's just through the roof, isn't that right, yeah, that's worth. There you go, dead. Your daughter's probably dead, and now you're dead too. There you go. What do you know? Dead, instantly, <laughs> on fire, and everything. Oh, let's go back to the quick save. <laughs> All right, well, let's just do this mission. Nah, any leads? Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, I'll find her, yeah. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Okay. Buggered off. Okay, Casworth. You don't have to be a savage like that, but whatever. You guys know your house looks like complete and utter trash? Like, you guys should clean this area up for guests like myself. Like, seriously, though? Hey, I can take Rubbish. your stuff. <laughs> rubbish! I literally take their their fine china plates, and you're just like <laughs> rubbish, trash, garbage. <laughs> you're such a savage, Casper. What's over here? Curio door, more like Cheerio door. Beer bottles. I see those beer bottles. Don't be trying to hide those from me. Pork and beans, garbage, garbage. Kind of want to burn down your house or something, you know, just for the lulls. <laughs> uh, I got some more white plates and stuff. That's going to be good ceramic. <laughs> Well, our stuff is upstairs, apparently, so let's go up there, uh, use it, uh, see if it helps us with anything, I doubt, I don't think, is this her room? Another holotape right there, huh. Shadeless lamp. Bathtub. Is this her room? Yeah, this has got to be her room, right? Holotape there as well, huh. Alright, gold watch, uh, screwdriver, whoa, what is that thing she was working on? Hmm. Yeah, they did say she was like a tinkerer or whatever, toy rocket ship, that should give us some plastic. And what is that, a piece of a Pridwin right there? <laughs> she found a, she found an exploded Pridwin and brought the pieces inside. Uh, I don't know, there's just so many, there's holotapes all over the place. I guess I could listen to them, yeah. Keep it dinner tray, yeah, not bad, I'll take all that stuff. Loot them all, I don't care. Combination wrench, eh, might as well, right? <laughs> Free stuff. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, don't think there's anything else here. Huh, let's go inside the Paris room, see if they have any loot. Man, what an absolute mess. This place is disgusting. You guys should feel ashamed. Like seriously though, this place is just the worst. <laughs> ah. Mr. Nakano, did you have questions about my daughter? Yeah, the, her radio. Details about Kasumi, reasons for leaving, yeah. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Hmm. Well, what about her radio upstairs? Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. 
God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? I don't know, the mechanist maybe? I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's Elder Maxon. Oh wait, he's dead. Nothing for now, uh... Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Hmm, her grandfather now. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. Hmm, <laughs> that's probably where she is. Scavenging, she's probably scavenging for parts or something, I don't know. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. I'm not the detective. Nick is, wherever he is. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Taking the day off, hanging out at Sanctuary Hills. Oh, more clues. Well, uh, how many more holotapes are just scattered around here that you guys can't even care to listen for? There's another one right there. Man, there, there must be clues all over the place in the form of holotapes. Okay, well, I suppose we can give them a listen here in a bit and see if they tell us anything. Hmm. All right, well, any, uh, any juicy loot around here that I could just take, like, right off the bat? No, can't get anything off the fish, can't get anything off those weird-looking whatever those are. <laughs> uh, don't see anything else. Huh. Just more fish. Oh, Cosworth opening up the door. Look at that. Smart old Cosworth over here. And the oh, there's a casual cat. Who are you, little kitty cat? Meow, meow, meow. Anything over here? Anything on the boat that needs to be lo <laughs> looted? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything on the boat. Alright, well, let's just listen to the tape. And oh, there's two cats. Huh, didn't even notice the first one. Alright, well, let's listen to the tapes and see what they have to say. Let's just, uh, let's just listen to dreams. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm... In a white room, people are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Hmm, sounds like maybe they're studying her. Let's listen to holotapes. Um, hello? Testing? <clears throat> Project Log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Alright, let's listen to Kitchen. Project Log. Kitchen Mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... Alright, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... You don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. Uh, okay. I know you're disappointed. But I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Hmm. Sounds like her dad's going to, like, Diamond City or something to pick up some supplies, and... She has a list of things that she wants, but... Must be too technical for her, her dad to know what half of them are, so she wants to join him, but... He won't allow her? Well, let's listen to what she has to say about Lamp. Does she love Lamp? Project Log? Lamp. Yep. It's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. 
I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. <laughs> Casual lamp. Uh, let's listen to radio. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. I don't know what she's talking about with this <laughs> Ohm's Law reference. Let's listen to television. Project Log, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Ugh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but... Well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Hmm. And that's all I have for uh, hollow tapes. There might be more inside there, actually, now that I think about it, but... Hmm. What are you whistling? How are you whistling, Cosworth? You have that, like, pre-recorded or something? Jeez. Either way. I don't know where to start. She said, like, there's something about going south, but... Far from home. Optional. Investigate the Nak Nakano residence. Yeah, I've already investigated it. Well, there must be something I'm missing. Huh. Well, we listened to all the holotapes, all of them that I could find, at least. Let's go back upstairs, actually. Maybe there's something I might be missing. Because maybe one of the holotapes is going to give me a little bit of information about uh, where she went, why she left, what she's doing, what she's looking for, and stuff like that. Let's go to her room. Nothing over there, nothing in the large toolbox. I guess I could talk to her parents now, now that I've listened to all the holotapes and... Hopefully I have a little bit of extra information about her. But I'm not finding- there's a radio. I'm not, I'm not finding any more holotapes. Hmm. Yeah, no nothing, nothing, nothing anywhere. Screw. Yeah, no more holotapes as, as far as I can see. Unless it's in the bathroom. No, nothing, no, nothing in the bathroom. Nothing in the bathtub, nothing over there, nothing, nothing. There's a vase right there. Yeah, I apparently had a searchlight next to it. I needed it, guys. Ruth, give me a break. Yeah, how's it going? Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Yeah. Her radio. Reasons for leaving, yeah. We'll see what she has to say. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Hmm. Her radio, nothing for now. Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. Hmm. Any extra details? I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Okay. Tell me what's wrong, yeah. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Probably inventing. Hmm. Yeah, investigate the boathouse. Nothing else right now. Well, there you go. Guess we'll go investigate that boathouse. I was going to head over there anyways. But, uh, had a little bit of a mission saying I had to go back and 
talk to them, I guess. Anyways, let's see. She might be hiding. She might be, like, right there, right? And <laughs> this is the end of the DLC. Uh, picture frame. I'll take that. Oh, whoa. This loving, lovingly cared-for picture of the lighthouse seems to be almost out of place here. Yeah. Search the picture frame. Found a hidden key. Ooh. Huh. There we go. Boathouse safe key. Now I can go and get some juicy loot out of the safe. Or even... Is it even a safe? Is it a secret entrance into somewhere? Where is this cell? Oh, there it is right there. Unlock it. And there it is. Two things of duct tape. And the final holo tape. Let's listen to the final holo tape. Uh, there it is. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go to meet these synths. I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Hmm. There we go. Talk to Kenji Nakano. Guess I'll tell them. Tell them that their daughter ran away to go to Synth Town. <laughs> okay, well, I wonder how this DLC would go if I actually went with the Bridwin. The, uh, the Brotherhood and killed the Institute. I guess it still makes sense because they're they might just be rogue since that kind of just wanted to form their own thing, so I guess it's mutually exclusive from that whole storyline, right? God, can I, like, climb up here? Jeez, there you go. Jeez. <laughs> Let's go inside their house. And, uh, where in the world? Here we go. Jeez. <laughs> I couldn't find the entrance. Hey, how's it going? Your daughter's Did alive. You finished your investigation? Did you find anything? Yeah. Bad group of sins. Not Yeah, Far Harbor. What do you know about it? Oh, it's because... Yeah, let's ask if she's human. I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? She might be a synth, yeah. Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Hmm, since her, uh, are you sure? Uh, she was, maybe she was replaced, yeah. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes, I know my daughter and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? Yeah, I did. Far Harbor. Ever travel north, yeah. I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze, but that's a lot of miles. Yeah, Far Harbor. What about Far Harbor? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. <laughs> Sarcastic after all this seriousness. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, <laughs> while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident the boat can get you there unharmed. At least, I hope. Before you go, here's the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. That's what I like to hear. Give me those bottle caps, Ada. Anyways, let's go to Far Harbor. Let's go find Kasumi. See if she's actually kidnapped or if she actually went there uh, willingly. It seems like it sounded like she went there willingly. Unless she did say, like, yeah, I want to go and 
sounds like that's what she did. She just kind of took the boat and just kind of went. Boat controls. Activate the boat. Travel to Far Harbor. Okay, so it's kind of like the the vertebrate where we're not actually controlling the thing. I, it's just like a fast travel port. Either way, let's travel to Far. Oh wait. Oh, I guess we're actually going to watch it uh, watch it move around. I guess this is the guidance system he was talking about. It's kind of like going automatically. Hmm. All right. Well, look at this. What do you know? This is spiffy as heck. Are we even heading north? North is that way. Nah, I guess we have to go out into the water, because this is a boat after all. <laughs> this is just a harbor. We can't just go across the land or anything, you know? What is it going? Yep, it's going to fade out. 